I am here with Marguerite O'Brien, a newest resident at Southport Square. She has recently moved in Gables West, third floor at 307. Marguerite, welcome to Southport Square. Thank you. So how has the journey been? Actually, I've been very, very pleased. It's been a, a great experience. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you have moved in when, like a couple of weeks ago now? Uh, it'll be three weeks Wednesday. Three weeks Wednesday, great. And where did you move from? From Punta Gorda. Mm -hmm. Did you live in Punta Gorda Isles? Yeah, uh, Burnstore Isles. Burnstore Isles. Yeah. Um, we have several residents here who lived in Burnstore Isles. Yes. Do you know any? Uh, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I met a couple that um, a couple of them that uh, I didn't know were here. Oh, okay. So that's always good to know someone, yeah. isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> It's a long story. It is. <laughs> so how long did you live in Burnstore Isles? I've lived there for 27 years. Wow. Long time. Yes. And it, prior to? Prior to that, I was I lived in New Jersey, um, mm -hmm. originally from New York City. Mm -hmm. And um, moved to New Jersey and lived there for about 25, 30 years and mm -hmm. moved here 27 years ago. So you have spent equal amount of time in New Jersey yes. and then in Florida. <laughs> yes, I did. Which place did you enjoy the most? Oh, I've loved Florida. I loved living where I did mm -hmm. while I was raising the children, but mm -hmm. uh, I would not change loving here in Florida. Oh. Not this part of Florida anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so how many children do you have? I have four. Mm -hmm. And I have five living grandchildren mm -hmm. and five great grandchildren. Oh. So your children, four boys, girls? Uh, two girls and then two boys. Wow. Do any of them live in Florida? No. They're in Ohio. Two mm -hmm. of them are in Ohio. One is in Maryland and one is in Arizona. Oh, so you have family all over, huh? Yes, I do. Do you get to see them often? I did. Mm -hmm. um, up until three years ago, I drove up to uh, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, mm -hmm. and surrounding areas to visit three out of the four children. Oh. And at least once a year, I would fly out to Arizona. Mm -hmm. And. Um, now, of course, I don't drive up north anymore, and right. they are all retired now, so they'll come, be coming down to visit me. Right. That's good. And you said you have five great-grandchildren, yes. too? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. but with my oldest daughter is the one with the five grandchildren. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, That's a big family. It's That's a, her, awesome. her children are both married, and... The one in Maryland has two children, one of whom is getting married Labor Day weekend. Oh, wow. So there may be more great grandchildren <laughs> in the future. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to do another interview then. <laughs> <laughs> My last profession was mm -hmm. real estate um, before I retired. But prior to that, mm -hmm. I was a bookkeeper and fund analyst for the Armenian Missionary Association. Oh. Although my name is O'Brien now, mm -hmm. I am Armenian. Oh, really? Um, so what did you enjoy the most in your job? I loved working for the Missionary Association. Really? So what was it that was so special? I guess just being able to serve, you know, a, a, good, a good cause. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, Real estate was interesting, it was good, but after my husband died, I just felt that it, it was time to smell the roses and retire. Right, 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 right. So your education was in New York or New was Jersey? Was in New York, yes. New York? Mm -hmm. Where about in New York? Uh, in the Northeast Bronx, mm -hmm. New York City. Nice. So after you retired, 
that was like after you moved to Florida? That was, it was after after my husband died. Yes, I moved down two years after he died. Oh, that's when you moved to Florida. That's when I moved to Florida. Mm -hmm. Basically, I was very active in my church, mm -hmm. uh, the First Presbyterian Church of Punta Gorda, uh -huh. and I've been on I've been on set their session and served as uh, chair of uh, finance and personnel wow. for. 25 of those 27 years. Oh, wow. That's really enough to keep that you very a, busy. That was enough of a job. Mm -hmm. But then I also enjoyed, you know, bowling. I swam almost every day. I walked a lot, which things that I can't do anymore. So, so you went out so. bowling? You hmm? went, so you went out bowling and you I, enjoyed that? I love that? bowling, yes. Oh. Yes, until I ended up having a... Uh, uh, surgery on my shoulder and right. that ended the bowling career. <laughs> so you said you enjoyed going for long walks. I used to walk a lot, mm -hmm. yes. Is that something you want to pursue here at South Port Square? I wish I, wish I could. Mm -hmm. um, I am doing more walking by using my walker. Mm -hmm. uh, that helps but keep my balance right. and I'm right. able to walk the way I would like to walk. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there are many residents here on this campus right. who just love to walk mm -hmm. and, you know, and again, walking on the campus can be so versatile. There are some who love to go all around, yeah. enjoy the lakes and nature. There are some who even walk just the hallways and some who just walk right from Gables East to Gables West. Mm -hmm. That's quite a walk. And that come is back quite a too. walk, yes. So, <laughs> Yeah, so there are options that you could probably pick. Right. And I, I would need to do it with the walker. Yeah, 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 of course. It's important you use your assistive device. And and I use it to get to my car mm -hmm. and to get back. But otherwise, I you know I, I don't I don't really need it in the building. Sure, sure, I understand. Uh, so is there anything else that you are interested in? I love reading. Um, I've been an avid reader and that was the one thing when I retired that mm -hmm. I looked forward to. I always wanted to be able to read at leisure mm -hmm. and I never had time. Right. Raising four children Absolutely. and then working made mm -hmm. it very difficult to read the way I would like to. Mm -hmm. but, so uh, have you visited our library on the fifth I floor? Haven't, I have seen it, yes. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten any books out of there yet. I'm finishing what I have here. Right. So. Well, you know, very soon I'll give you another book, the <laughs> Sunflower I'll look Sisters. To that one. Yeah. <laughs> so while you lived in Burn Store, I know you were really busy with your church and really helping them out. But other than that, for leisure, is there anything else that you did? Yes, I learned to play mahjong the first year I was. I, I lived here and since then I mm -hmm. played at least once a week mm -hmm. and usually with the same group and uh -huh. so we played for quite a number of years until we stopped last year because of COVID mm -hmm. and I also learned to play bridge and I've been doing that since uh, I guess took lessons after uh, Hurricane Charlie hit us and uh, played with that I played bridge every, at least every week, and uh, then it got to be two and three times a week. Mm -hmm. So and you do enjoy card games? I enjoy mm -hmm. all card games, yes. Oh, okay. and, uh, so do, we do have a bridge group here as well as a marjan group. Yes, I heard. I know they do, and I'm all hoping to start playing Thursday night this mm -hmm. week. So Oh, nice. Let's see. And I haven't tried the marjan. I'm going to probably have to get sent for a new card for this year because I didn't do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so other than card games, is there anything else that really interests you? Well, um, there used to be, but I'm not able to do any of those things anymore. Oh, so I understand. One thing I have, I've had a fun uh, feeling for is uh, classical music and going to the symphonies. For years, all the years that I have been here, I have attended the uh, Charlotte Symphony, which is now Punta Gorda Symphony. Mm -hmm. And I think that goes back 26 years uh, that I've attended all their, uh, all their performances. 
Also, I went up to Sarasota quite a bit to the mm -hmm. opera. Mm -hmm. And I, but for, for many years, I had season tickets and uh, symphonies in Sarasota and mm -hmm. symphonies in Fort Myers. So basically you do have a passion and a love for classical music. For classical music especially, mm -hmm. yes. Sure. I love the symphonies. I plan to get some concerts here on the campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it a point that you know mm -hmm. about them. Yeah. Okay. How about like you know Broadway, Palm Dinner theaters, and I've been to several of their mm -hmm. their plays, and uh, and they're good. I usually, if I had somebody to go with, I would go. Mm -hmm. I I wouldn't do these things. Right, well. right. I understand. We used to do a lot of all this, you know, mm -hmm. the symphony, the big band, the concert band, and the. Uh, Broadway Palm mm -hmm. and send buses and uh, organize the trips and the tickets and everything. Right, right. They because, do, and they do a very good job. Right, they really Palm. do. Yes. But because of COVID, we are like laying low. <laughs> we, we're slowly, slowly opening now. Even we'll open up with our bus outings, but just limited. Yes. You know, until we okay. get. I, I, I would rather have it that way until we know it is completely right. safe. Absolutely. How about travel? Is that something you enjoy? Yes, it is exceptionally so. Um, ever since I was a teenager, mm -hmm. I always wanted to travel and oh. I never did get much of a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. Having married early and raised a family early. Right. Uh, but I did some traveling um, beginning in 1980. Well, actually I did travel with my family. We went cross country twice in my early years wow. by car. And wow. then um, in the early 80s, uh, I went to uh, Brazil, visited my brother who lived in, uh, uh, in Campinas, which is near uh, Sao Paulo, mm -hmm. and visited him and t did a tour of Brazil by bus, and then went to Rio and uh, I did that trip twice while he lived there. And then before I moved down here, my traveling was within the States with my husband. We went to, we traveled from New Jersey to Florida and then mm -hmm. to California. But after he died, I did world traveling and started wow. my, my travels by starting to go to Italy. I went to Italy twice covering all of Italy and Sicily. So what was your Middle favorite? East. Which was your favorite place in Italy? Uh, I loved all of Italy. <laughs> really? Um, How about the Amalfi Coast? Uh, the Amalfi Coast was absolutely beautiful. I know. It was mind-boggling just <laughs> traveling did. down those roads I in know. a bus. That, <laughs> the roads were so narrow. Right, and, they uh, are. They drive unbelievably. <laughs> and so steep. The Very Amalfi steep. Coast is... But it was beautiful. And mm -hmm. it, was, it was fun. It was, mm -hmm. The people were wonderful. Right. Um, I traveled to the Middle East and did the Bible Land tour. Wow. And, that was exciting, but it was also very tiring because mm -hmm. they really pushed a lot into the time we had. Mm -hmm. And my favorite was going to Ireland as far as a trip that was more like a vacation mm -hmm. because it was such an easygoing country right. and it was beautiful. Nice. And I did, I did a cruise to Alaska and did a cruise to the path through the Panama Canal. And, and then I did more of the traveling in the United States to, to go up to Canada and then down to the States again. And, um, you know, tried getting to see some of the, the bigger cities that the inner parts of the city. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's about it. And then I wasn't able to walk as much as I used to walk because all these trips required a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. I was very happy about that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's quite a bit of travel. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's exciting to see new places and oh, meet yes. new people. Right. So. And I love traveling by car. I love driving. Mm -hmm. And all my trips every year up north were three, four, about 4,000 mile trips right. by myself. Wow. Every time. And I really enjoyed them. And 
I stopped driving when I stopped enjoying it. <laughs> right, I understand. So I know that you have traveled a lot and had great experiences. Mm -hmm. What would be your most memorable moment? In traveling? Mm -hmm. I think the most memorable was going to uh, Jerusalem oh, well. and, uh, and the whole Middle East and going through Jordan and, uh, and Petra. Mm -hmm. those, those were very memorable moments. Oh, that's awesome. um, Marguerite, if I look around on the walls, I see some real interesting picture frames here. Um, uh, is that something that's meaningful to you? Yes, most of most of the framed work is is interesting and has a story. Oh, very nice. So, do you mind walking around and just no, not at all. showing and sharing the stories behind each picture? I'd be happy to. Awesome. So let's go. So let's start off from this end. Let's start off with this one here. This is a, uh, a framing that I did of a piece of uh, a, a, a tatted collar that my godmother had made. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were supposed to be used on nightgowns. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she had given them to me to use and to make nightgowns for my two daughters. Mm -hmm. And my, my girls would never wear a nightgown, so I just saved them. And when I moved to Florida, I had it framed mm -hmm. and put up there so I could look at it. Uh, she was a great person to do all hand crocheting, mm -hmm. making tablecloths and uh, beaded dresses and sequence dresses. She did a lot of beading work. Mm -hmm. So it's a good memory of my godmother. Awesome. So let's again take a close look at it before we move on to our next. It is. It's really beautiful. Very nice work done here. Um, all right. So are we going to move across? I can see another one. Let's walk to it. Okay. What's this one right here? This is a picture of the Armenian Cathedral in Yerevan, in mm. Armenia, oh. and it's at the foot of Mount Ararat. Oh. Arme I am Armenian, and Armenia was the first Christian nation in the world that, that confessed to having Christian as their main religion, oh. and that was in the year 304 AD. Wow. So what's written on that plate here? What's on this plate? It's a biblical, biblical mount in Ararat. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Beautiful. Okay, and then across I can see some shells. I'm gonna just walk towards it. So, yeah. Is that better or thank you? More. So here I can see this frame shells. So could you share more about it? Well that is a piece of art that I put together. Those shells I found in Sanibel. Oh. back in 1999 mm -hmm. and uh, had cut out the the, uh, the mounting blocks and have it, had it mounted and then I had it framed and it won second prize at the Sanibel Shell Show. Oh, very nice. So let's look at it well. So I see these butterflies. That's really cool the way you pieced it all together. One or two of them are from the islands that somebody gave me, but the rest of them I found in the Sanibel, including the angel wings. And let's see here. Really nice. I like the way you have 
they go in a very specific sequence. Just going back so we get a long shot of it. So that's really very interesting. So was that the only one you made or you made several others? That is others? the only one only I one. did, yes. You just did one, the most amazing, beautiful <laughs> one. And I all, did it for me and I my, my cousins insisted I put it in the show. I'm glad you did. You know what I love about it? The way you put it all together. Yes. It just, it's intriguing. Mm -hmm. You want to look at it and you just want to follow it and see. It's it's like as if it's telling us a story. Very well put together, very nice. Thank you. Okay, so where are we going next? Okay, here. So tell me more about these two well, picture frames. These are pictures of gold leaf. Mm -hmm. This goes back to 1952 when I first married and uh, there was a great Art Deco era, era and mm -hmm. uh, I kept these from my home and I brought them here and I decided to bring them to Southport. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So you said they're made out of gold leaf? That's gold leaf, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'll take a closer look at this too. Okay, that's beautiful. Now, where are we going? Okay. I see one. Okay. Uh, this is a, a lace from the Bunratty Castle in Ireland, and the frame is an old uh, serving tray that was my mother's, so it probably goes back about a hundred years. Wow. So and the did you bring the lace when you went to Ireland? I, I bought the lace you in purchased. Ireland. Yes. And then this tray and is the tr your mom's, and you mm -hmm. said it's it's close to at least ninety years old. Wow. Maybe maybe more because nice. I I know I remember it from childhood and it could very well be a hundred years or more. Nice. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Oh, I didn't fix the bed. Well, that painting is an original, here, is an original from, um, the artist is Armis, who happens to be an Armenian minister. His name was Reverend Masirian, and he went by the name Armis. Oh. And all his paint, a lot of his paintings were hanging in the Louvre in France. Oh, in Paris, yes. And uh, he sent a, a, quite a few of them to a minister that was in our church, so that some of the some of his works would be spread amongst the Armenians. Mm. And I bought that in 1972. Wow. And. Uh, since then, it has gone up in value tremendously. Mm -hmm. and, but it's something that I loved when I saw it, and uh, it was just very inspirational for me. Wow, let's again take a closer look. Wow. His, his texture and the colors are so vibrant. Mm -hmm. They really are nice. This is one that. This is a, a, a serigraph that I I bought on uh, one of my cruise trips, mm -hmm. and uh, brought it home and had it framed. And uh, I just liked it. I liked the the simplicity of it and mm -hmm. the peacefulness in it and the beauty. So where did you get it from? I on the <laughs> on the Queen Mary too. Oh. I have one, one of the cruises to the Panama Canal. Oh, to the Panama Canal. Let's... Right, I agree with you. It's, it's really, 
unusual, very different, yes. very beautiful, mm -hmm. as you say, peaceful, nice. And whose picture is that across? That is me back in oh, 19... wow. <laughs> <laughs> in 1986. Wow. So who painted the It was done in as in done in colored chalk and it was done in Cape Cod out in Provincetown. Oh one of the artists on the street. Mm -hmm. And my husband insisted I have it done and he promised to have one of his, but he never did. Oh. So he tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go and look at it. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, you can stand right here. Wow, beautiful. Were you pleased? Very much so, yeah. yes. Done a yes. terrific job. Yeah. It's amazing because it, it only took him less than half hour to do that. Wow, nice, very nice. And is this something that you I, painted? I did you, not. One of my granddaughters did that when she was 13. Oh, okay. And her mother did this. Well, that one's a, a watercolor. And right. this one is an oil painting done by my daughter mm -hmm. when she was about 13. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. And that's her daughter who yep. did this mm -hmm. other one? Yes. Oh, so one is an oil and one is one a watercolor. Is watercolor. Both were 13. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That was a nice little tour. I really enjoyed it. Very informative. Well, Marguerite, what is this box next to you? This is a hand inlaid uh, box that is made to be backgammon. Oh. And it's a, this is a Middle Eastern game. Mm -hmm. And although many Americans play it, uh, there are tournaments, there's all kinds of things. And you set them up, but like the checkers would be, only mm -hmm. you play going from one side down to the other. And uh, it's very interesting. It's a lot of fun to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, I play with my children most of the time when I see them. Oh. So, but I haven't been fortunate enough to find people who play. Mm -hmm. So it's a limiting game for me. Maybe but you I've could. Learned, I played this since I was four years old. You could introduce some residents to this game. Well, How many players do you need? Just two. Oh. This is strictly two. That's awesome. So let's take a closer look at it. Maybe we could entice some residents to play this game with you. All right. Oh, I'm sure there are people who know how to play. Mm -hmm, there could be. Maybe after this video, you might get a few calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be nice. <laughs> okay. All right, so, so you really enjoy playing this game, though? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, very much so. Okay. And usually, how long does it take to play it? Well, usually you pay, play like the, uh, the best out of five five mm -hmm. sets and oh. uh, and the, whoever wins five first mm -hmm. wins so it could, it could take an hour oh okay it can could you take an hour and a half can you just open this for a minute mm -hmm. okay. right. and then you play it right here in this box and can you close it again that's quite Quite some craftsmanship and work done on this it box. Is. It is. It's beautiful. Really nice. Something unique. So, Marguerite, what is this album in your hand? Well, it's the remaining album from my trips. I, since I didn't have room to keep all of the albums that I had from all the trips, I did keep this one, which is of the uh, Bible Land tour in the mm -hmm. Middle East. And all the pictures that I've taken from that trip plus uh, other information and and a write-up I do a travel log on every trip that I've ever taken I have oh. travel logs on so nice. I try to keep the travel logs but I couldn't keep all the pictures 
Um, so do you mind showing me? Let's look at that album together. And then let's see what was this first. That first picture is the entire tour group that was sitting in the airport in Amman, Jordan, while mm -hmm. waiting for the plane to take us to Cairo, which oh. would have been our ending destination. Oh. It happened to be on a early Sunday morning, about one o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we had to wait about two hours for the flight. So the leader of the group who happened was a minister from, uh, from Phoenix, Arizona, mm -hmm. he decided to call us all together mm -hmm. and performed a church service in, oh. a, in a Muslim country. Oh, wow. And we sang hymns, we prayed, and it was really very, very moving mm -hmm. that the very first day of our trip, mm -hmm. and, and we started with prayer. That's awesome. So what are these photos? Well, this is the Nile River going oh. down the Nile in, in Cairo. Nice. We went on what they call the Fallujah. Mm -hmm. It's a boat that takes you down the Nile. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Is that the boat? That's the boat. Okay. That's awesome. And then, as we turn, and this is in Cairo? It's in Cairo, yes. And that's, when we went to the pyramids. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cool. I did not go in the pyramids. There mm -hmm. were people who did go in. in I the, didn't. Oh, okay. All right, I understand. And then here, we see more pyramids, right? Yeah, this is people walking up. Oh, uh, going into? To go into the pyramid, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as we turn the page. And then came the ride with the camels. Camels, yeah. <laughs> I actually did ride a camel. How did that feel? Very weird. <laughs> <laughs> very weird. You're sitting up very, very high. Mm -hmm. And it's slow moving. Oh, they, I'm sure they made them a slow move. Right, right, of course. OK, but you got to ride a camel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I see. If we turn them around. We have more pictures with the camels and the pyramids. Here is a close up. Okay. That's the picture of the Sphinx. In oh, Cairo. yeah. That's cool. And an interesting factor was two mm -hmm. weeks before my tour, mm -hmm. there was a bombing of one of the tour buses in Cairo, right oh my at the gosh. foot of the museum, the Cairo Museum. Mm -hmm. And people wondered whether I'd still go make this trip. And I said, of course. I said, if they, the tour groups would avoid it if they thought that it was dangerous, mm -hmm. which isn't true, but. <laughs> right, 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 right. Wow. Oh, that's your camel yeah. ride right here. Let's take a closer look. Wow. <laughs> oh, I see it here. Yep. Okay. And then, and then what we is We did a tour of what? the museum. Mm -hmm. And these were pictures. Well, um, oh, I'm sorry. Keep them straight. We can see. Okay, this was these, in the museum. In the museum, yes. Okay. And then, the, this is again part of the this museum. This is part of the museum, and this is in one of the tombs. All right. Okay. It was amazing to see how the, the colors in the drawings and the, and the artwork that mm -hmm. was in a lot of these, um, uh, in the museum and in pictures of the art of mm -hmm. the drawings, 
and the colors that they used. Mm -hmm. It was similar to finding it in, um, in Italy mm -hmm. and going to Pompeii. Right, they, right. The colors, the inks that they right. used, whatever they used for color was so Pompeii permanent was. that mm -hmm. 2,000 years later you would still see the sure. same color. I agree. Okay, let's look here. All right. This was all again this is all in, the, in the, museum. the museum. Right. Okay. And then we took the the trip to um, uh, this is one of the, the statues of the ancient um, the Colossi of Mem 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 Memnon. <laughs> oh, what is it again? The, the Colossi, Colossi of, of, of Memnon. Memnon, right. okay. Here we are, These are the, this is in Luxor. Mm -hmm. We went to the Queen's Tombs. Mm -hmm. Now here, two weeks after I returned home, mm -hmm. there was a mass massacre of 40 someone, 47 people right in front of where you One were? Of where I was, yes. Mm -hmm. It could have been us walking there being the Wow. Around. So I'm glad I went when I did, and that would, <laughs> and I will not go again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Good to have memories and pictures, That's right? That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. This is in Karnak, the Karnak Temple. Mm -hmm. This is all in Luxor. Oh, okay. This is again in the temple? Um, uh, I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> we'll we'll oh say it was in the okay. temple. These are all from these different areas that showed all these statues. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay, so here we see some good this pictures. Is, yeah, this is the, the fountain at... Um, the, so at this the was... This is a mosque in... The, that's a mosque? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the dome of the mosque here. And then this is again another statue right here yes okay. there are lots of statues right and then you have taken more pictures of more statues more statues and these are the step pyramids what they call the step pyramids so, in egypt oh the step pyramids yeah. in egypt was, yeah mm -hmm. and here they have we went to a weaving where they made the oriental rugs and you see Oh. The people, they have young girls who are maybe well, well, 14. Let's look. let's look at it first. Mm. So this is a picture right here where mm -hmm. they are making oriental rugs, right? right? So let's yes. take a closer look at it and you can tell me a little bit about it. Okay, so you the, actually watched... The, we watched the girls do this. They, have, they train girls who are maybe 13, 14 wow. years old and... They, they can do these things with the colors and what and, and just work without even looking. They, wow, they, so are, they're just so trained they are. And, um, so did they say how long it takes them? I don't remember, no, but no. the rug here on my floor mm -hmm. was from Persia. Oh. And my parents bought it in 1938. Wow. I grew up on this rug. My children grew up on oh it. Oh my gosh, and, and it I still thought, looks oh, yes. so new yes. Yes. and nice. So did yes. you have to take and some special care of your rug? Uh, lot, a lot less than you would think. Mm -hmm. A lot less. It, it really hides a multitude of sins. Wow. <laughs> that is so cool. And um, having this Persian rug in your house, it must have been great to actually watch these girls, 
you yes. know. Oh, yes, to together. watch them make these. Yeah, yes. to make those books. That's yes. fascinating. And before I moved, I was able to give each of my children, before I moved, I was able to give each of my children a four by six oriental rugs that I could not use here, so. Right, um, so those were your parents They too? were my parents, yes, oh, they came really down nice. to me. And then what is this picture uh, here? Uh, this is more of the... Um, Are they making? They're making the rugs here. The rugs yeah. here, right? Yeah, okay, well, let's take a closer you can get look. A close look at this one. Okay, I'm gonna take a close look at that. Oh yeah, he's putting the rugs together. Mm -hmm. And even down here, they yeah. are doing the mm -hmm. same, right? Putting yes, yes. Wow, yeah, the mm -hmm. cotton rugs mm -hmm. here. That it's is fascinating cool. to watch them. Yeah, that's awesome. Petra is the place that I really was impressed with. So is that This is Petra? Petra. Yes. And then this is also part of Petra? This is all part of Petra, you'll okay. see this. Okay, this is Petra, I can see it now. And then... And Petra is made of, it's like a, a sandstone, and buildings are, and facilities were carved out of the sandstone. Uh, so, they have, so every place around in Petra was carved, it's, it carved from, out right. They had all these caves. Yes. Stones. And um, mm -hmm. you can see the caves here. Um, and then these are the caves these in Petra. Caves, right. Okay, wait. Let's set well, well, here, here. here and let's take a closer mm -hmm. look at them. Nice. So that our audience can really enjoy it well and they see what they're seeing and then even this here uh, this one is this way okay all right you could see the colors and the striations of the uh, uh the stone so this was this picture right now that we yeah. saw was inside mm -hmm. the cave? Inside one of the caves, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, that was, I think this was the treasury. Yes, it was the treasury building. Oh, that was yeah. the treasury building? And amazing Let's how they Look had, at it again. Mm -hmm. gonna, so this is the treasury building this, and that's inside the cave. Inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this next to it right here. Mm -hmm. Don't know. That's looking out from inside the building. Oh, okay, okay. So now we see some pictures here, mm -hmm. and I believe that's you right here, right? Yes, on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's inside the cave again? That's in the cave, yes. And those are those dry colorful. In the treasury building, yes. In the treasury building, right? And if you look on this side of the album, I can see somebody dressed up like in yes. an Arab, yes. Arabic clothes. Mm -hmm. Who is that? That is my cousin oh. from Ohio. He was the one that got a, he and his wife got me to go on this trip. Oh, really? And he dressed his part? <laughs> he dressed the part. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very nice. So I'm glad that your cousin was able to come with you. Yes, we had actually, we had some of his family, a, a, a son and uh, uh, daughters, and they, they came. And so it was not just me alone right, with somebody. Right, right, it, was, right. it was a family thing that we did. That's awesome. Okay, and what is this? This is the Memorial of Moses. That's what it's written. This is the Mount, Mount of Moses. Yeah. This is the Mount of Moses. Very nice. So you all actually went there, looked at it and mm -hmm. everything. That's awesome. Oh, before we go on to that, I see this gentleman with the fire pit here. What is he doing? 
That is the glass blowing in, uh, uh, in, in, uh, in Israel, actually. Oh. Yeah. On the way to, uh, uh, on the way to Jerusalem. Oh. So you actually watched him do that? We did. We did. Mm -hmm. That must be a great experience. What is happening here? That is at the Jordan River and several uh, people in the group tour were baptized in the, in the, in the, uh, in the river. Oh, wow. They actually went in and were So, well, wait a minute, let me take a good look. So you are trying to tell me that these are people from your group? From their group. And that actually got into the river yes. and got baptized? Yes. Oh. And the young girl was my cousin's granddaughter. Oh, wow. That's quite an experience. Well, that was a real exciting trip, huh? It was. It was. Um, I mean, we tried to show our viewers all that we could from your album. I am hoping they were able to see it and enjoy it well. Um, but that was quite a wonderful trip. You said you had it with your cousin. Yes. And his family, too. So that's cool. What a great experience. It was. Mm -hmm. Now I understand why you said this was this trip was probably your most memorable moment. Um, you can see it's very fascinating and with family and just seeing and experiencing everything. And then relating to things that you have, like your Persian rug that you had for generations and you actually saw them weaving it and yes. things like that that is so cool all right go one thing that i've done is that when each of my children turned the uh, to the age of 50 i presented them with a photo album of family pictures going back as far as i'm able to go which is only my grandparents and uh, which are their great grandparents and showing them all the pictures and explaining who they were and then pictures of their very young childhood. And then I did a, a, about 18 pages of my memoirs, going back to my memories from the time I could remember. Oh. And, uh, and each of them got it when they turned 50. So a lot of the family pictures they've all got and the history of the family they've all got. That but we talk awesome. about a lot of these things often now. I think they, they want to know more, which is something that we never had. Our parents mm -hmm. never talked about these things. Right. That's... And, uh, you know, coming into this country mm -hmm. through Ellis Island mm -hmm. and, uh, and and starting out not knowing a language and, mm -hmm. and, and speaking Armenian and Turkish and Arabic. Mm -hmm. and uh, And here they became so educated. And, right. Uh, and, simply educated but still educated mm -hmm. and um so it, it was an exciting time for me to be able to say these things and talk about it to my children absolutely how beautiful i really want to thank you for you know giving me this time an opportunity to learn more about you to learn about your amazing amazing stories that you shared and it has been a great afternoon for me getting to know you and just getting to know all these wonderful things that you have experienced over a period of time um, I am really so appreciative and I want to again welcome you to Southport Square and I am hoping that you are able to have some more stories right on our campus that you'll be able to share later on. So welcome, welcome. Well, I'm happy to be here and I appreciate the time that you've spent to get to know me. Mm -hmm. um, As I, you begin your new journey, huh? It's a new journey. It's a new, <laughs> a new adventure for me. Yes. And this, it's wonderful to get to this point in my life and mm -hmm. be able to start a new adventure. Absolutely. Sky's the limit for you here yes, at Southport Square. Yes, it is. And I always look to the future. Awesome. Welcome again. Thank you so much, Marguerite. Well, thank you. I'm looking forward to seeing you around. Uh, I'll, I'll be around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye for now.